Christmas. Yeah, this Christmas. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What about the the sing? When did you get involved into the the whole music area? I guess. Well, I was just uh, it was 20 days before whatever. I can't remember what day it is now, but whenever the last audition for Idol was, it was just mm -hmm. 20 days before, and I was like, I'm I might as well try out. You know, what have I got to lose, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I just picked a song off the radio and sang it for 20 days, and then went and tried it out. That's so yeah. That's uh, I guess a short time from um, when you uh, went audition for Idol to well, from where you started till you went. How how was that? Tell us a little bit about that experience. Were you completely nervous? Was it? Give uh, us a, a bit of a the scene there. How how did you react? You mean like when I auditioned? Yes. Or, I mean I wasn't nervous about it. You know, like I said, it was kind of like it's just kind of whatever happens. It's not you know I have nothing to lose really. So mm. if I make it great, if I don't, then you know, I go back to what I was in before, it's not, you know. Okay. And uh, we understand you were a student here at A&M. Yeah. You've uh, been a student uh, here? Yeah, I was sitting here for three, or this is my third year, I guess. Mm -hmm. And this is the first semester that I'm not going here because I'm doing music now. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's glad it's good to have you back here. And um, tell us, how's the, how's the music going for you right now? What, uh, w what, what are you working on? What's, what's the news on that? Well, I'm working on basically learning everything. I mean, of course I'm writing stuff, but, you know, yeah. I just got a guitar. I'm just learning how to sing, so I'm kind of having to catch up on a lot of stuff. But I'm also writing and, you know, playing little shows, trying to, get, you know, learn as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. It gets really annoying because, like, it's, it's kind of like I can't learn fast enough. So it's like I'll spend the whole day, even if I play the whole day, it's like, I still yeah. have so much left, you uh -huh. know. So. Well, uh, it's been like it seems like you've been picking up uh, pretty quick. H how does it feel to be playing back here at uh, a and Rudder Auditorium, big place? And well, I don't know how it feels just yet. I guess I'll find that out tomorrow. Well, I mean, coming here yeah. and knowing that you're going to be yeah, playing for a bunch of Aggies and. It hasn't, you know, I haven't thought about it that much. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, so I won't know until I'm there <laughs> looking around, and then I'll be like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Have you played uh, before with uh, with your brother? You're playing with uh, your brother Jason um, tomorrow, right? Yeah, I have never played with him before. <laughs> well, I mean, we've sat around in the same place and played some, but <laughs> that's not really playing together, I guess. Did y'all? Uh, did you back at home? Did y'all play? I know he started off with drums. Did you? Uh, did y'all play back at home together or something? No, actually, when he got his first drum set, I got mm -hmm. my first guitar, which was back way back when I was in like eighth grade. Okay. And I quit like really quick, and he kept going with the drums, and got into a band and stuff. But that was the end of guitar for me. That's mm -hmm. kind of how I'm picking it up so quick. I took lessons back then, so I kind of had the basics, mm -hmm. but I was never any good. So, but that's helped me now to you know learn really quick because I kind of got that the basics out of the way. Okay, and uh, in your music writing, what uh, I guess what styles, what bands have uh, influenced you and shaped into what you're writing about, and the, the style that you are going about to write your music? It's really kind of too soon to tell, like, okay. because since I only have an acoustic guitar to play off of, mm -hmm. that's kind of limits my music a lot. Mm -hmm. But like as far as that kind of stuff goes, like I like Ray LaMontagne, James Morrison, okay. John Mayer, you know, like stuff like that, but. You know, I like bands too, like The Use is like my favorite band. Okay. Stuff like that. So I don't know. One day I may get a band just to see what kind of stuff we come up with. Yeah. All right. And just uh, now t touching on the topic of uh, your favorite bands, uh, I just got to ask this question. What's your guilty pleasure band or artist that you listen to? I don't, I don't <laughs> know that I have one of those. Actually, to be honest, I just kind of started actually listening to a lot of music. Like I listen to a lot of rap. Wow. And a lot of house <laughs> music up until this whole singing thing. And so now I've just been also, like, when I'm not playing music, I'm listening to music, you know, kind of catching up on a lot of stuff. But, <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of all I used to listen to. So it's kind of a huge disadvantage right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Hollywood Week, everybody was talking about, oh, this band and this band and this singer and all that. And I had no idea who anybody was talking about. <laughs> but it, it actually it helped me a lot because, you know, I just, like, kind of took notes from people. They are like, oh, you should try this guy and this guy and this guy. So I kind of... You know, without having to go back and listen to it my whole life, I can just go look up the good ones now. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Tell us your experience over there um, in Hollywood. How was, how was you, you were um, born and raised in Texas? Yeah. Okay. And how was that transition moving from, uh, from I guess, the Dallas area to a uh, bigger city, more crowded? Well, it wasn't. I mean, I've traveled a lot, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. So it's not okay. like I've been stuck in Texas. I've 
I've been kind of, I've actually been around the world actually. Really? Yeah, I've, I've been a lot of places. Around all over the place? Yeah. Travel a lot? Yeah. Okay, and how'd you get into uh, wanting to do this uh, music for sure? What When was it the moment, do you have a moment where you uh, said, you know what, I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and stick to it? Or did it just I guess happen out of, how, how did that happen? That was after Hollywood week, I guess. Because, mm -hmm. you know, during Hollywood week, I was still kind of like, I, don't, I still have no idea what I'm doing or whatever. And, but then after that, I just, when I got home, I was like, you know, now, like I said, I got all this advice from these people, and I got all these songs, and I got all this, and so I just kind of took off with it. Okay. And ha have you felt, uh, is there any pressure in uh, now doing it kind of uh, at a bigger stage where you have, like, do you have a lot of people over your shoulders telling you how to do stuff, or is it more chill for you? How was that experience? No, nobody really tries to tell me how to do stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's good, especially, like, having my brother and stuff, mm -hmm. knowing a lot of people who actually do know what they're doing and being able to learn from them and you know just a lot of musical people and I actually have a lot of like I've made a lot more like music friends that have been doing it like their whole life okay so you know just I got a lot of good people around me yeah. alright that's good and uh, back to your music writing um, how do you go about writing a song do you write it on the spot when you're uh, going through something or is it all based on personal experience are your songs written? It's not all on personal experience. Okay. Sometimes it's just like funny stories. Sometimes it's just whatever. Um, it depends. Like a lot of times I write with friends, mm -hmm. and so we'll just you know we both kind of have our like we'll tell a situation like I'll be like oh this happened to me once and be like oh I had something similar and we'll kind of take pieces from both and yeah okay. And uh, are you currently in a are you recording right now? Are you in a studio or are you still in the writing process? Not not record anything yet.